Hello my fellow family foodie friends. Today I'm going to share with you what I put on my Aldi meat and cheese board. So here are the items that we used for our most recent Aldi charcuterie or meat and cheese board. And this is something that we actually really like to do for an easy dinner. The kids feel like it's super special. Sometimes we'll do it in front of a movie or just for a fun celebratory dinner. I love these cheeses. Aldi has so many cheeses that you can choose from, but these are just the ones that we picked this time. That cranberry white cheddar is a personal favorite, and I love the three-pack of meats there, the pepper salami, hot capicola, and hot calabrese. I'm not sure that I'm saying those right, but they're all delicious. And then, of course, my kids devour the baby dill pickles. We all love the pepperoncinis. I love the garlic stuffed olives. I haven't had any of the other ones. And the raspberry fruit spread is my favorite to put on our toasted baguette. So here is the first step. I just get everything into its own little bowl. I have seen so many pretty boards where people have everything touching one another, where you have your meat swirled together and cheeses, almost like in a river pattern. But if you have three kids like me, you know, everyone doesn't like the same things. And if all the food was touching, that could be a major issue. So we kind of have everything spaced out and I can't make the pretty boards, but I can tell you this, my kids eat it. I am just toasting a take and bake baguette that I showed from Aldi. Now I am opening everything and just kind of setting it out. I use a cutting board to kind of prepare it. I cut the meats in half. Then I leave the cheese in hunks and we have... Um, some serving stuff that I got from World Market. However, this past Christmas, I see that Aldi actually has some of the serving utensils where you can use the cheese slicers and um, they have all the different shapes that I have here. Really, there is no wrong way to do this. You just put the foods that you like. I think variety is what makes this the most fun. I love buying the six pack of crackers, the assortment from Aldi. It's very inexpensive. It's like $2 or $3.49 and you get six different types of crackers. And then I have the Aldi version of Wheat Thins. Lots to choose from. And really any serving ware works for this, but I got this serving tray at Target a few weeks ago on clearance. I thought it would work really well for this and it really has done the job well. And I have everything up here. I didn't film slicing my baguette, but I added that right next to the raspberry preserves. And this was our dinner. Everything was super delicious and I just kind of set it out on the table and let my family go to town. I'm just sharing with you my personal favorite ways to eat this is toasted baguette with the goat cheese and the raspberry preserves or having a wheat thin with the goat cheese, raspberry preserves, and some of the meat on top. So delicious. And this is what we will also be having on Christmas Day is a lot of the snacky type food. It's something that you can eat as much or as little as you want. I just have to protect it from my cats, make sure it stays cold enough, and we can kind of pick at it throughout the day. I'm just going to give you guys some shots of things that I did not purchase in the store. I think people are often really surprised at all of the great cheese selection that Aldi offers. I really could go cheese crazy here, but I'm just sharing things that I actually have that I knew most of my family would eat, but so much of what is here would be absolutely delicious on a different meat and cheese board, and they have your basic um, blocks of cheese as well. Especially around the holidays, they have so many meats to choose from. There are salamis and pepperonis. They have stuff rolled around cheeses, pre-sliced logs, you name it, they have it. And it's very well priced. I'm always impressed by it.
when my husband and I first started going to a, a local restaurant, one of our favorite fancy things to get was their antipasto platter. And that was basically a meat and cheese board with olives or a charcuterie. And they gave a really giant bowl of olives and he hates olives. So that was my favorite part. And I love getting all of the olives and the pepperoncinis and the pepper rings. I would put artichoke cards on there, but I'd be the only one to eat them. So I have to leave those behind. So many choices and you really can't go wrong. Aldi is the place to be. If you enjoyed this video, you might like checking out my Aldi favorites, all of my favorite items that I buy from Aldi on the regular. You can check that out right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make your own charcuterie or meat and cheese board, as I used to call it before I became fancy. Ciao down and ciao!